And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Daniel the Hangman Hooker. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mateusz Gamer. You ready? Let's do it. All right, early round action here. We'll see how Poland's Mateusz Gamrot handles this particular stylistic challenge. We have seen him really excel in matchups like this. Was so good in transition and emerging on the scorecards against Armand Sarukyan in what was his first UFC main event. And now with the target on his back, we'll see if Gamrot can deliver yet again. Big power shot there. Another hook. Nice job on the feet by Gamera. Nice loop of punch. Oh my goodness. Oh! And how I much said. more can he take? Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Gamera getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. Oh, he's got to the spot. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Hooker. He's setting up the arm bar. Oh, he might be in trouble here. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Oh, good ground and pound here. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Hooker's back in full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. And very effective with the ground and pound. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping forward. They're excited. Oh, oh, who's next? All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. And there's that jab. Uppercut. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. That's one of those shots. And if you take one of them, if you're in the night, that one's in the right on the spot. Oh, another one. There's a 
trouble. Dan's in trouble. Well, you gotta think he might be. The continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Nice, solid punch in him. Oh, nice. Level change there goes for the takedown. Gamrot's in half guard. Oh, now he's attacking on triangle. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, he bails on the submission now. Oh, he's got the knee on the Beautiful job. Just this is the form. Now his opponent. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Mateusz Gamer! Well, could you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission.